So I'm still catching up on a lot of my laser reviews and in this video, I'm gonna look at this one. This is an Acer diode laser. And before you say, wait, you looked at an Acer laser not that long ago, uh, you'd certainly be right because that was the P20. And if you haven't seen that review, you can click up, up above here and go watch that. This is the Acer V35. This is a 35 watt diode laser and uh, it should rock our worlds. Uh, <laughs> and in this video, we're gonna find out. How's it going everybody? Steve here and welcome to the shop. Uh, welcome back if you're a regular viewer, uh, glad to have you back. Now, not too long ago, I did a review on the Acer P20, a 20 watt diode laser from, from Acer. Very, very good laser. If you're in, in the market for a 20 watt laser, you certainly want to consider that one. Uh, you can check with, with other channels. If you go look at Rich's channel, uh, the Louisiana hobby guy, he loved the Acer P20 as well. But this laser is different. This laser is the Acer V35. Now think about that. That's a 35 watt diode laser. This thing should be amazing for cutting. And we're gonna find out. I, wa I wanna get through a little bit of a full disclosure first. So Acer didn't send me an entirely new laser. Uh, what they sent me was an upgrade to the, to the P20 that I already had. I don't know if they're gonna make that option available. So uh, you know, don't assume that, that what I'm telling you here will apply, but effectively this laser is now a V35, uh, uh, the same exact V35 that you would buy from Acer directly. So with that little disclosure, we can get moving here and uh, we'll put this laser through its paces. Uh, we'll definitely do some cutting because I'm really interested to find out how, how much better this is at cutting. And in the end, we'll come up with a, a bit of a summary here to, to see what, they're, what they've done really well and maybe what they could still work on and uh, we'll come up with a bit of a score at the end and, and uh, hopefully you'll want to buy one of these. So let's get going. Okay, so before we really get going here, let's take a quick look at the differences. So on the left here, we have the 20 watt uh, laser module and on the right, we have the 35 watt. And the only real difference, they're about the same width and, and depth. The only real difference is the height. It's the 35 watt is a little bit taller, so not only have they found a way to compress the inside of, of the laser itself, uh, they've also uh, you know, taken up a little more space because they do have more diodes stacked up here. Now I will point out, uh, because I did a recent video and I'll put a link up above, uh, where I made this little jig for the 20 watt laser because this very highly reflective surface was here and you wanna be able to take it out, they have uh, gone to a, a more uh, straightforward just orange uh, acrylic on the front of the 35 watt and hopefully that allows us to see uh, to see the laser a little better when we're doing some sighting in. So kudos to Acer for making a bit of an improvement here. Uh, hopefully this is a much better uh, option. All right, so t let's take a quick look at some results. Now I didn't really stress anything on engraving here because honestly, it's a diode laser, it'll engrave uh, pretty awesomely. So what I focused on was mostly cutting. However, I did do a gradient scale test and uh, it looks pretty good. It's definitely got a little more power than the 20 watt. And here's the comparison, uh, the Acer P20 versus the, versus the V35, if I can get them both in frame here. And you can see definitely there's uh, a little more uh, oomph going on here. Uh, even up the 10% uh, column, uh, this laser turns on just slightly earlier than the P20 does. So that's the, the extent of, of engraving I did. Uh, I did focus mostly on cutting. So I started with some acrylic and uh, diode lasers are kind of notorious for not being great at cutting acrylic. But if you get something that's a little darker off white, uh, it'll cut just fine. And uh, what's next? Uh, speaking of acrylic, uh, these are all one pass tests, by the way. Um, this is a nine millimeter piece of black acrylic. And you can see uh, in one pass, uh, it just carved through this. It was pretty amazing. Uh, then I switched to wood and uh, I started with, this is a, a, about a 3 16 inch thick a uh, piece of solid walnut and with uh, a power setting of 100% with a speed of 180 millimeters per second. 
uh, per minute, sorry, uh, it was able to just punch out a, a, a really nice uh, cutting of walnut. So definitely does, does uh, fairly big solid pieces of wood. So not to be uh, dissuaded, I tried to cut a piece of, this is actually six millimeter uh, hardware store plywood, which is notoriously hard to cut. Uh, and again, the settings here, I was only at 120 millimeters per minute, uh, still 100% power, but as you can see, it just chopped through it again. This is one pass. So this is really impressive. And for the final test, I did my, my quarter inch uh, maple cutting test with one pass, two pass, three pass, four pass. Uh, by comparison, the P20 was able to cut through, uh, I believe it was the, was th at three and four passes. Um, and I, actually, I believe the two pass was, was there as well. Uh, the D1 Pro could cut through with three and four passes with this 35 watt. Uh, and again, the intent here isn't to cut through. The intent is to see how, how many passes it takes with the same power. Uh, that's pretty slick so cutting is amazing with this with this laser and uh, again it's a good engraver as well so those are the results all right so you saw the results here and they're actually spectacular i mean you would expect a 35 watt laser to do this and this is exactly what it does it can cut through in in one pass it can cut through nine millimeter black acrylic it, it can cut through even lighter colored acrylic you saw there uh, my rectangle test to see how many passes it takes to cut through a piece of quarter inch maple. Uh, it cut through every single pass, uh, every, every single attempt, even on the first pass. Uh, this thing's amazing. Now, a bit of a look at things they, they, did, they did great and things I think they could still improve. Uh, I'll be honest, everything about this, this V35 is great. Uh, I really can't find much wrong with it at all. Uh, they added the clearer window so you can actually uh, see framing when you're framing the laser on the material. So they solved a, a, another problem that I, I was having. Uh, power's fantastic. Uh, you know, what, what else can I say? On the downside, again, really nothing. This, this laser is uh, about as perfect as you can get and uh, X-Tools uh, lasers better keep keep an eye behind them because the Acer V35 is is hot on their heels and I really don't see a difference why you would pick one of these over the other to be honest so uh, anyway we'll leave it at that uh, I'll put a, an affiliate link down below if you're interested in buying one of these you can help out the channel uh, what can I say get out there and, and make your world and maybe a V35 is the way you're going to do that so uh, I'll see you next time